Yes, and konnichiwa! This is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my haul from Daiso, which is a store I love. If it sounds like your thing as well, then please go ahead and channel toroku shitte kudasai. Channel. So if you do not know already, which I'm pretty sure at this point you have heard of Daiso, but it is a Japanese kind of everything store they sell absolutely everything and in japan pretty much everything is 100 yen sometimes they do stock things that are a little bit more pricey but like 99 percent of their stock is 100 yen which is amazing because like the quality of their products for 100 yen is honestly so great and they do have a lot of stores internationally now they have one really close to where i live and even though it's not 100 yen it is two dollars 80 which is still very affordable compared to a lot of other stores so it is a store that I go to very frequently and we came out of lockdown about a month ago and during lockdown all retail stores were closed so I did not have a chance to go do my regular shop at Daiso so I finally went after the lockdown and I bought you know just just a couple of things in this bag here and <laughs> I thought I would share it with you guys because I haven't done a Daiso haul on my channel for a really long time but it is like my number one most viewed video i believe at this point usually when i'm in japan i just buy absolutely everything and anything because it is so cheap here it is still cheap but i still think about more what i buy and i feel like this haul was very realistic and very like i won't say adult but i will definitely say it is more realistic and things that i genuinely wanted and needed and will use in my house um, first i'm gonna grab this big thing that's sticking out and this is actually what do they call it aluminium panel for kitchen stove so this is something you would find in pretty much any japanese household my mom has it my grandma swears by it and it literally is just like this aluminium guard that goes around your stove top so when you cook and like oil spatters or like sauce spatters and stuff it doesn't go all over the countertop or things that are around it i've been waiting to try this out and crack it open so i hope it's not too big it looks pretty big and you don't even have to have it open all the time you can just like open it up and put it there when you're going to cook and then put it away because obviously it folds in like this i just had to grab one of these and i finally lid it so yeah what do we got? What do we got? Oh, yeah, I'm so excited for these. So they're ice candy makers. They're actually Disney as well because I'm pretty sure you guys know I love Disney. And they're those little like ice pop like containers that you can put in your own kind of formula or liquid or whatever and make your own ice pops it is going into summer in australia so you know we've been eating our ice cream so um me and logan decided we should get our own so we can make like smoothies or whatnot and make our own little ice pops so they're super cute the handles are like mickey mini donald and yeah i'm very excited to try these <laughs> This is such a real haul. So these are probably one of the best sellers at Daiso in Japan. They are amazing. They're literally just square sponges that you don't even need to put detergent on and stuff. You just wet it and then it cleans surfaces like glass, um, steel, metal, and it gets rid of all that like stubborn kind of gunk that is hard to wipe off with a normal cloth. And this stuff, this tiny little cube, like works amazingly it's crazy i actually used one in the shower the other day because it was like getting all the soap scum oh that's what you call it soap scum gets rid of the soap scum so well and i bought it for logan's mom i bought it for my grandma and you know it's one of those things that as soon as you start using it, you're like oh my god this is so good i'm gonna use this for ages highly recommend if you're looking for something that will get rid of soap scum or stubborn kind of glass or steel stains that you need to get rid of they work so so well oh <laughs> i got another headband i introduced this in my must have beauty tools video i believe and they're just like the headbands from daiso i just love them and i feel like i can always use more i love them because they're really big and wide and i can tuck my hair in them if you want to check out that video please have a look because i kind of went into depth about it a little bit but i got me another one of these headbands in mint green this time oh <laughs> It's already empty because I could not wait and actually use this one. Hold on a second, I'll go grab it. This one is actually called Yuzu Kosho, which Yuzu is that citrus fruit. In Korea, they usually call it Yuja, and they've been used a lot in skincare these days, so maybe you've heard of it. But it is like a Yuzu and pepper kind of fragrant, spicy condiment. I don't even know 
how you would call it. They literally just call it yuzu pepper in English, but it is so yummy. It goes well with like freaking everything. You can even mix it with cold noodles like soba or here they have it on like some chicken, but it's so nice because it's got a little bit of citrus and it's got a really nice fragrance, but it's like a little bit spicy with the pepper and I just love putting it on my food. I did get quite a few of like food items this time, but I love musical show. I hadn't had it in a while, so I was like... Yes. The other two I got are these two. So this one's classic karashi. And it's just like Japanese mustard, I guess. Yeah, they literally call it karashi mustard. It's just this yellow, like, paste. But they use it a lot with, like, shumai, as they've got here, which are, like, dumplings. They eat it with katsu a lot. And it's just one of those classic condiments that you need if you eat Japanese food. It's like wasabi's partner, honestly. Like, you have to have wasabi and karashi in your home at all times if you're Japanese. So and we were running out, so I bought another one of those. And then the last one is Aojiso. What do they call it? Aojiso Perilla. Okay, so it is Perilla leaves. If you have tried them, I think they, again, use them in Korean cooking a lot as well. But it's quite a fragrant leaf. And it's kind of like bittery, herby. I don't know how to explain it. But they've got that in like a paste form as well. And oh, I love this flavor too. It's so good. I remember when I first like started trying Aojiso flavored things in Japan. And I was like, ugh. I love it. They have it on chicken here, even on natto, pasta. Another one I would highly recommend if you're a little bit adventurous with your food and stuff, I would highly, highly recommend it. I'm sure you will love it. So I did, yeah, pick up a couple condiments from Daiso because they're $2.80 and honestly, that's like decent. In Japan, they barely cost like 100 yen, I'm pretty sure. They're so cheap. But still, getting condiments for like $2.80 and getting that Japanese flavor, like... It's not bad at all. Oh, yeah, I'm actually pretty excited about these. They are makeup sponges, 30 pack, and they're just cut into like little triangles. And unlike a lot of sponges that I feel like in Japan, they just use sponges as they are. But these ones, it actually does say to wet it and it does expand. So I assume it would be similar to like the real techniques I use. So I'm actually quite excited. I like how they're quite small so i feel like it'll be good to get like in the eye area and it still has a big surface that you can pat it on your cheeks and stuff and i thought you know what i haven't bought new sponges in a while so maybe i'll give it a go and i have definitely not used these daiso ones they seem very soft i might try to wet it and see it's a very smooth sponge let's compare it so i mean it expands like decent amount it's very like very bouncy i'll be excited to try it out properly when applying my makeup but i definitely thought it'd be worth giving it a go maybe they've been out for a while and i just wasn't paying attention but i had never seen these ones so i was like you know what i might give them a go this was another one that was very kind of curious so again it is a puff but it is actually like a finger application puff i guess you could say and again this one says you also yeah it expands with water i honestly don't know if it'll be useful or not but it has a little cut on the bottom and you open it up and you put your finger in it <laughs> and you puff it on with your makeup interesting right nice <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, I thought it'd be kind of cool. Like, if it works really well, then why not? It's $2.80. This one is a two-pack. Especially these sponges are, like, 30 And if they're, like, decent quality, really can't complain, Kenya. So I thought I'd try these out for you guys. Um, let me know if you have tried any of the sponges from Daiso recently. Dishwashing gloves. I definitely try to wear dishwashing gloves whenever I do the dishes because detergent and just, like, using water all the time on your hands can definitely be damaging to your hands and the skin on your hands. And I I already destroy my hands with work just with what I do they tend to get very dry and gross quickly so I try to do what I can to protect it and dishwashing gloves a hundred percent highly recommend this is something that my mom has told me to do since years ago and Logan wears them as well so I definitely just needed a new pair of dishwashing gloves oh yeah this was kind of like a spur of the moment purchase but Aosa or Aonori which it's literally just like nori or seaweed like dried seaweed kind of ground down into almost like a powder you see it a lot on japanese food like okonomiyaki or takoyaki or yakisoba a lot of those 
street foods and stuff. They use Alnori a lot. It just adds like a nice fragrance and a little bit of flavor and it just adds to it, you know, it just adds to that taste. They just come in little sachets like this. So you don't have to open like a huge bag and it go like bad, I guess. Dried green lava. Lava? Lava? But yes, another one I would recommend to up your Japanese cuisine game. Oh! <laughs> I forgot I got these, but we really need them. What do you call them? Like stainless... What do you call them? Stainless steel scrubber. I think that's what it's called. Some of our pots and pans have like this gunk we can knock it off with a sponge. And Logan was like, yeah, you need to get those stainless things. And I was like, oh, right. I've never really like used that before. So we finally got them. It's a four pack for $2.80. So like... I mean, they're probably not expensive things. On the back, it also says like what you can use it with and this and that, which is good. Another cleaning. <laughs> I got a lot of cleaning um, items. As I said, this is a very real haul of things that I would use on the daily. Sponges. Another thing that I have opened already and used one because it's a five pack. It's literally just kitchen sponges, like dishwashing sponges. They're pretty good. Honestly, they're decent. They foam up well. They're fairly durable and I have been buying the dishwashing sponges from Daiso for a while now. I think since I moved out I've been using Daiso ones so like a year and a half and they have so many different types oh my god I usually don't know which one to choose because they have a bunch of different packs of sponges. They even have character ones and things like that so if you want something fun and cute for your kitchen then have a look at Daiso sponges. They are really good. Uh, this one's cute. This one's actually not for me but Logan wanted a little hand towel because <laughs> I wanted to carry one around like me because I do that but we got a little Pooh Bear one it's very cute and honestly the towels are like nice quality and pretty freaking soft for $2.80 so it's just a Pooh Bear towel oh another Pooh Bear item <laughs> we're obsessed with Pooh Bear can you tell it's just a little bag it's just a clear bag and it has poo on the front doing a roly poly I can always use these and especially right now I thought it would be a good one for masks like these days I usually carry around masks hand sanitizing wipes tissues towel and i feel like all of them will fit well in one of these bags so i grabbed that one sanitizing wipes <laughs> i know it's kind of wasteful but sometimes it is definitely easier to use a sanitizing wipe especially in the current situation me and logan have kept like a bottle of this in the house when we need to wipe down like doorknobs or our phones or anything. This one has 100 in it. They had one with like 100 in it and 150. Honestly, the top of the 150 one was pretty bad. Like I could not get the wipes through this hole. Hopefully this one is slightly better. So it's just like a roll in there and then you gotta like take one out yourself and then hopefully I can poke it through here. Oh, like this. See, this top is just not. It's like tearing the wipe. I guess this one's a bit of a dud too. I was looking at other stores and they were like close to $10 for like the same amount. So if it's just the lid that's difficult, then it's okay. They're pretty small and they're pretty thin, but for how, what we use it for, it's plenty. And I just use this to like wipe down my phone and stuff when I get home and make sure we don't get gross. <laughs> Little ladles. I've been wanting to get these for so long because the ladle, the ladles I have at home are either too big or they're plastic. So they're not like great with really, really hot food. I thought this set was perfect. It's the perfect size when I make like miso soup or something like small. And it has one that has holes in it. So you can just get ingredients if you want to. And then this one is just like a normal ladle. They're pretty flat though. I wish maybe they were like a little bit more like deep set oh i didn't realize that it actually has little like hooks on the back can you see it's got little bumps on the back that apparently you can like hook it onto things so it doesn't slide i like that i like these little details that they do oh i think this is some someone actually recommended this on a different video i don't know if this is the exact one they were talking about but it's called a multi brush i guess multi-purpose silicone brush so you can use it to wash things, like it's got bumps on it and you can actually use this to wash things but then you can also wash your makeup brushes on this and stuff. I still don't have like a big makeup 
brush cleaner. I usually just wash it on my hands, which my hands get super wrinkly and it's probably not the best for them, even though I just said that I try to protect my hands. So I thought it might be convenient to especially wash the smaller brushes. I can just pop some soap on and use this to wash it. So I thought I'll give it a go. It always was something that I was curious about. I was like, I might as well try it. On that note, actually, they had a new brush cleaner. This one here, I have mentioned the regular sponge cleaner, I think, multiple times. The one in like the smaller pink bottle. I've been using that for ages and I always use it to wash my sponges. But then I saw this this time and I was like, oh, this is a sponge cleaner, but it says sponge and brush cleaner and it is in a way bigger bottle. So I was like, you know what, I'll give it a go. And then if this is better, then even better, you get more for the same price. 200 mils, no color additive and fragrance free. Huh, I like that. Ah, it really does smell like nothing. Cool. Wait, what's this? Ah, oh, this one! I just have the package, but I need to go get the item because this one I'm actually really excited about. So, wait a second. So, this one's really exciting. I actually posted it on my Insta story. If you don't follow me on Instagram, hop over there so you can keep up with me on like a day to day basis because I post on story a lot more often than like YouTube. But this comb I have been loving, it's called Hair Curls Comb or like a perm comb. And I don't know why I didn't discover this earlier. It just makes so much sense but it is a comb for people with curly hair because when you use a normal brush to brush curly hair the teeth are too fine that it just fluffs up your hair and it kind of gets rid of the shape of your curls i don't have naturally like super curly hair but most of the time like it is fairly curly and I do wear it curled. If I brush it with my normal brush, it's like a 50-50 chance the next morning it'll look decent. Sometimes the curls are there and other times it's just like wonky and slightly straight and slightly curly and it just looks like ridiculous. But since I've been using this, I just brush it once at night to get rid of like the knots and stuff and then that's it and then the next morning I feel like my curls have kept their shape way better and it's less fluffy and my curls just last more days as well just by using this once at night so I highly recommend it for people who have curly hair I really wish I discovered it earlier and literally it's only Jill's baby and it's just like such a simple idea and I don't know why like I don't think about it and just some pencil leads what do you call them like mechanical pencils I think they're just for Logan I don't really use mechanical pencils these days but grab some of those if you like stationery definitely go to Daiso they have so so much I just don't really buy it because I already have so much stationery but if you do like stationery definitely check out Daiso's stationery range because they have a crap ton of things and lastly we got this thing it is a fan again i think this is for logan because i think i have one somewhere if not i probably need to grab a new one this thing was like the handiest most useful thing when i was living in japan especially during the summer it is just a you know normal fold-up fan they call them sensu sensu i'm pretty sure they call it sensu in japan but this it was so, so nice when I was waiting for my train at a train station in Japan and it was so damn hot. I would use this, like it goes so small in your bag so you can carry it everywhere and you can just whip it out and then fan yourself. And it is surprising how well this little thing works and how cute is it? It's got penguins on it. They had a ton of designs. I feel like they had like 15, 20 designs and $2.80 and it is actually pretty decently made oh polyester cotton and bamboo oh that's actually like a really decent material so obviously it's bamboo here and then polyester and cotton probably mixed in the material but holy this thing is so handy in summer and like i don't know i don't know if it's lame but who cares i would recommend if you have never tried them sensor they are one of those brilliant in inventions that you don't know how good it is until you try it so that is my haul. I'm sorry I was absolutely all over the place in this video. I was a little excited, but also whenever I do hauls, they're very unplanned. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any highly recommended Daiso products that I haven't tried yet. And leave it in the comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!